publicly streamed. All right, guys, welcome to day seven of the 15 days income challenge. And tonight we are going to be doing landing page and pixels setup. Okay, now, like I was saying before, I give us some videos to set up our our business managers and advertising accounts and so far on the group i've only seen few people who have been able to get to that point of setup okay um some people are still way behind i was still saying even up to today people are still doing tap links and cover photos in this eight in day seven well god will help us throughout this journey so today be doing pixel and landing page setup right after creating your business managers and creating your advertising account right the next thing for you to do is set up your pixel right and set up your landing page now what is pixel your pixel is uh or are codes that you put on your website on your landing page that helps you track events that helps you track things that happens on your website okay for you to know what is actually going on, for you to know what actions people are taking on your landing page or on your website in general, you need to install what we call a Facebook pixel. And a Facebook pixel will help you track these things, okay? I don't know if I should explain what landing page is, but a landing page is, a landing page is a singular page, is a one page out of your whole website. Okay, it's a singular page where you have some details about um, maybe a particular product you are trying to to sell or something. It's just a one, a singular page, right? That is why it's called a landing page. People land there and they are being taken to a different destination. Right? They can come from your traffic source, be it Facebook ads, be it Google ads. They land on that page and they are taken somewhere else. Okay, that is why it's called a landing page. They get there, consume the necessary information that they need, and that they need to get there, and take the next step of action we want them to take. In this case, coming down to our WhatsApp. So today, I'm not going to be taking us on the whole uh, landing page setup. I have videos I have created for that. If we want it, I can send it to us. Right, but to make this session and the challenge easier for us. I promised from the beginning of the challenge that I was going to be giving us access to a particular landing page I use. All right, you just need to go import it into your own um, into your own account and edit a few things, and you are good to go. Instead of having to create from scratch. And the people that can use this landing page are those that have a computer. If you have a PC, you have a laptop, you can use this landing page. There is no way it is edited on a mobile phone. I think I've tried that thing before in the past and I don't think it's possible to do that right now with the platform I'm going to be showing to us. And the platform is called systemy.io, all right? If you have a WordPress website and you are good with designing landing pages, you can choose to just skip this step of using my own templates and design something better for yourself if you feel that is what you want to do. Since you have a website, it's not a bad thing. You can go ahead with that. But for those that may not know how to design landing pages yet, or you just want to you know, skip this process and fast track your journey using this 15 days income challenge, you just need to what um just need to use this template i'm going to be giving us all right let me let me show us the uh the template i'm, I'm talking about let me just try to log in into my account and show us and show us the the template i'm also going to be showing us how to create a system that has your account i think or maybe i'm just going to log in into one of my my accounts here, you know, just so we get this over and done with as soon as possible. Tonight's session is not meant to be long like this. All right, just a moment, let me get to the funnel and show us my screen. Let 
Mr. Matthew, if you can hear me on this call, or maybe I'll just have to do that later. And that responded to your issue. Um, I'll just do that off record. Please message me later so I don't forget, Biko, if you can hear me, Mr. Matthew. Let me share this. Can we see my screen again? Can we see my screen again? Can we see my screen again? All right, I think some people can see my screen. Samira can see my screen. Okay, I'm just going to let this load up. And okay, so this was the template I was talking about giving to us. And um, this is just the headline in the in the in the landing page. Okay, uh, this is the video they watch when they get here, and um, some buttons here, and also payment proofs. You know social proofs and all that and that's just it's a different button all right so i'm going to copy this template and share it let me let me go back Creating an account on system in Ohio is not really hard. You just need to click on, I'm just going to show us how to do it. It's very, very simple. Just put in your email and you get an email from them. You confirm and verify your email and that's it. You get access immediately. Okay. Um, let me go back. I don't think this option is here. The option I'm looking for is not here. Let me go back. Okay, share and copy. All right, let me log out from this account. So to create a system.io account, just come to system.io. S Y S T E M E dot I O. You get to this page, then click on this button that says "Get My Free Account." Okay, on System dot I O, you are only eligible to create three landing pages. All right, three landing pages. Unless you want to upgrade to premium, you can create multiple landing pages. But for the free account, you can only do three, and I believe that is enough for you to get started. Right, you can choose to open multiple accounts and use different emails. If you want to do more than three landing pages, you are fine to do that. Okay. Once you click on that button, put in your email here and you click on get my free account. Then you'll be asked to go into your email and, and verify the account. Just click on the link from your email and the account will be verified and you get access instantly. It's as simple as that, no long process. But I'm just going to try to sign into a different account uh, and import the templates I'm talking about. So once you have created an account right there, you just need to log in. Okay, let me log in with, let me log in with, uh, let me see if I've exhausted, I've exhausted the three accounts that I can use here. Or do you guys want me to create a new account from scratch? So you can see how it's done, but it may take a little while. Ah, some people are saying yes, so. Ah, Zion, it seems you are the only one that wants that, though. Ah, Mr. Ola, we don't join Amo. Jesus. Okay, I've exhausted... Um, I've exhausted the three uh, accounts I can create. Let me see if I have a different email I can use for stuff like this. I don't know if I have a different email for this. So that's the one reason why I don't want to create a new account. Let me check if I have another email I can use for this thing. Let 
Okay, I think I, I can use my mom's email. <laughs> if I'm not, let me use our own email to create the account. Bico. Just log out and create a new account. Okay, you put in your email. I think I'm going to use the real. But let me see if I can use this one. I don't think I created an account with this one, the real Victor one. I click on uh, create an account, click here. Then you get a thank you message from from System to Ohio. Network is really slow. No, this network is really, really, really slow. You know the load. What's going on here now? All right, it is almost there. You need to confirm your email address by clicking on the link we've sent. We've just emailed to you. Okay, then you need to go and check your email. If you don't see it on your inbox, you can check your spam folder. I see where it says check your spam folder. Or, or use a different email address. Just check your spam folder, right? I am on my email right now on my phone. Let me check my spam if I got the email. I didn't get it here. Let me check promotions. Did not hear on promotions either. I didn't get the email though. Ah, wahala. I didn't get the email here. Okay, let me use a different email address. Let me see. Click on get my free account again, then I'll put, let me use, let me use this, this one. Right, let me check it again, let me check the second email. All right, I got it on this one. So I'm just going to open the email from my phone and confirm the, the email address from there. So you won't be able to see it from my phone though.
So you get an email, you just need to click on the, the link that is sent to you on your inbox and it's going to say, uh, you should create a, a password, okay? It's going to take you to a page where you need to create your password. So I'm just going to, I'm going to create a password for it. Hold on a bit. Wahala, I beg, let me create a password. This thing is not accepting my password, Biko. All right, I have created a password for the account. Now I'm just going to try to log in. Okay, I'm going to try to log in. Let me go back and log in. So once you click on the link from your email, it takes you to a page, you just put in the password, repeat the password again to confirm it, then make sure the password contains at least one number, okay? If you are adding letters, make sure at least a number is added to it, or less it's going to give you an error. Then click on the I am not a robot button that you see there and you get access immediately, you save the password, you'll be taken straight to your dashboard. I don't know why this network is misbehaving. I think I'll need to switch let me reload this thing. Right, let me try to sign in. All right, now I'm on my dashboard. So what I want you guys to note is for every account you create on systemy.io, your email would be your website. So you saw the email I used here, right? I used an email called um, therealgracejane at gmail.com. So for every website you create, every account you create on systemy.io, your email, the, the initials of your email aside the at gmail.com the things that comes before at gmail.com is what would be your website you understand what i'm talking about so if i am creating a a page right here on this account now it's going to be the real grace jane dot systemy dot io slash whatever i call that page right i would explain for that okay so now i want to import the uh, the template I, I I I was talking about. So I'm going to drop a, a button just like the way I normally do for each of the templates I provide. Under this training, under this uh, recording, when I post it on the, the the course area for all the recordings, under this video, you see a button there. You just need to click on it or hold it down to copy um, to copy the link there. 
or first of all, create your land your your account on system.io on your computer. So your account will be automatically logged in there. Then you just need to click on that button and you'll be taken straight there. Or you can just copy the link, hold down the button, copy the link, and go and paste it on your browser. But make sure you have created an account on systemme.io first of all. Okay, so I'm just going to come here and paste the link. You come to funnels. You see there are no funnels here. It says it looks like this list is empty. Can we still hear me? Please confirm if you can still hear me. Let me know I'm not talking to myself, Biko. All right, then you, you can see that this, uh, what's it called? This account does not have any funnels. Mr. Gozi, I'm just seeing your message right now. Um, so it, this account does not have any funnels here. I'm just going to paste that link, all right? Let me open my clipboard and paste it. This one that says system.io.funnel slash share slash whatever, whatever. This is the link. I'm just going to enter it and it will automatically import that funnel into this account. Let it load up. All right, let me click on funnels again so you see what I'm talking about. You can see the funnel has been imported, right? Can we see it? Before this was having zero funnels. Can we see the funnel have been imported now? Who can see new webinar right there? Can you see it? Am I the only one here? Okay, please, I need your full cooperation so we can get out of this session as soon as possible. So the phone has been imported there. All right, just need to click on the name, new webinar, you click on it, it will take you back here, okay? Now, you see what I was talking about? HTTPS slash the real grace gene dot system dot io. You can see this would be your website URL. So for these numbers, you can see here, you just need to give it something you can use to you know identify that particular landing page. So for me, I'll just give this road to one key. Okay. Then I'll save it. All right, you can see changes saved. So if I copy this link by clicking on this button, it copies the uh, the what's it called the page let me go and open it in a new site so you can see it imports everything into what we've just done I'm just going to paste this here and click on enter. We can see it, right? The template has been automatically imported here. So that is how you import the template. But there are still some things we need to change, like this access link on the button here. This button that says, um, get instant access now, limited slots left. The web, the WhatsApp link we created when I was doing the autoresponder setup, you know, we created a wire link first. We created a WhatsApp link that says, hello, Victor, kindly send me what the video explaining the online wanky club, my name is. That WhatsApp link is what you should put here instead of mine. Okay, I'll show you how to edit it, all right? So that's the only thing we are going to be changing. Aside that, everything is going to be left like that. We would change the WhatsApp link on the buttons. Oh, and also add the pixel, of course. Okay, so now let's 
go back to the editor and and edit the the website all right so from here What you just need to do is click on edit page. You can see this button that says edit page. You edit it, you click on it to take it to the, the, the place where you need to start editing the, the what's it called? The, the landing page. All right, but I don't have my own, I don't have my own WhatsApp link here, but I'm sure, I'm sure you guys must have copied your WhatsApp link if you don't, have it already you can try to create a new one all right but it would also affect your auto responder you may need to go tweak some things but if you have the whatsapp link saved somewhere all you need to do is just scroll down to where the button is right here tap on it and the left uh, panel would change then this side that says url this part that says url you just come here you can see my own whatsapp link right here right you can see the link there so you just come there and paste your own WhatsApp link right there. Okay, once you paste it there, you scroll down again, tap on the, the main page itself, tap on the main page itself to make sure this place you know, comes back to normal. If you tap on an icon here, you see this part changes, right? Then for you to be able to scroll, you can't scroll until you tap on the main page back, then this place will shift into this uh, element, then you can be able to uh, to scroll. Then you scroll back and go uh, to the button, the last button here. Please change this thing to your WhatsApp link. Oh, I don't want to start getting leads in my DM, and some people will come and be telling me my uh, clinical is reading. I'm getting um, leads on my ads manager, but they are not coming to my DM. I don't know what is going on. If you don't change this WhatsApp link here to your own, and they start coming to my my gem it's not my fault though it won't be my fault though i'm seeing it now you just need to come back here and change the whatsapp link that was how i was shouting for the autoresponder i need to start shouting again now for this one because i don't want trouble if leads come in and i convert them and they pay what's it on here i'm seeing it so come back here to the second button click on it and change the what the WhatsApp link to your own. If you know you want to do giveaway for me, don't change it because so the need to start coming in to my DM. Okay, thank you so much. All right, now for the for the auto respond. Sorry, but don't they make me talk auto responder for the pixel? Okay, we are going to now set up the pixel. That is the only thing you need to change here for for the what's it called? for the landing page, just the WhatsApp link. Everything else here should be left as it is, untouched. Unless some people that have Okonos head here that went to my Canva templates and were <laughs> designing whatever they liked there, if you call me and start touching something, thank God this one is not like Canva. This one is not like Canva that if you touch anything, it will affect everybody. If you touch anything here, it only affects you. Right here. So anybody that it in affects, <laughs> it affect them with that. If you like, don't follow simple instruction as I've said it, because I know some people will come and start doing their own as they like now. Wahala, I've explained what I needed to explain. So for the for the pixel setup, um, we are just going to go to business.facebook.com. Let me open a new tab and and go there. Let me stop sharing from here. Let me stop sharing from here so we can see my new tab. I wish this is Zoom where I can just share all tabs at once. It'll be much more easier for me to do that. So, I don't know why Zoom was not working. All right, so you go to business.facebook.com on another tab, then just click on enter. Now we want to set up the pixel itself. Now, I would have showed us how to do pixels on, on the other videos that, um, that is in correlation with 
the, the, the videos for business or the, um, for business managers and other account I uploaded and asked you guys to watch to set up that thing. But the thing with Facebook now is they change anything every time. The other day I wanted to set up Pixel and I was trying to do it with the same method I knew how to do it with before, not knowing that Facebook had gone and reset everything. So I had to unlearn. I had to unlearn what I, Mr. Afis, do you know more Zoom course? Will you subscribe Zoom for us? Mr. Afis is asking me why am I not using Zoom? Zoom will take us out in 40 minutes if we are not done and we need to rejoin a session if you are not paying for premium. And Zoom premium is kind of on the high side. Um, this man have money, he's asking me how much. <laughs> and that's not even the issue. I got Zoom premium. But the thing there is, um, I was getting an error while trying to use it on my laptop. I don't know why. It was working before. Then when I just tried to do it for the session, it stopped working. I don't know why. I don't know why, but I got Zoom premium for this thing. I just have to switch to Google Meet. OK, so once you go to business of Facebook.com, you'll be taken to this part. All right. Then uh, you can choose to, if this is not your business account, you want to create the session is being streamed on YouTube. So once um, everything is over, you get access. I, some people can stream it on YouTube. I can see some people on YouTube from here. I dropped the link on the, the group. So you just need to go there and access the recording from there. There's no need for me to record the sessions again. They're being streamed directly to YouTube. So come to business of Facebook.com. Now, this is the business manager interface. If you tap on this um, icon here, some other accounts would open up. There are two business accounts I have on these Facebook accounts. This one that says your account is the normal Facebook account itself, the normal Facebook profile. But you should not in any way be running ads with it. Let me sound that once again. Do not in any way run ads with your normal Facebook account. If anything happens to it, your account is OT law. You can't get it back unless Facebook decides to serve you breakfast on either of your business managers here, and you cannot request for an appeal, or you have tried requesting for an appeal and they reject it. That one is also OT law. But do not in any way or any time click on this part that says your account. You see, this is boldly written as the name on the Facebook account itself, Ezekiel Godwin Akban. Okay, if you open your business manager and you toggle this thing down and you are seeing your full name, the name you use in creating your Facebook account and then the picture there, don't touch it. I don't want to come and start hearing the disable my account. What account do you use to run ads? Your personal ad account is gone. So where it says business account is what you want to focus on because you are doing what business with Facebook about to start paying them to get you what customers for your business so you focus on the business account now for the business account i'm going to switch to the one that says so swipe you can decide to switch between businesses okay and this so swipe has four other accounts on it the other one k club has one other account but i'll be using so swipe for this i'll select so swipe instead and it will load up and take me straight to my business account called soul swipe all right i'm just going to let it load now what starts load up you can see the list of my advertising accounts here but for you you may be seeing this place blank that's because maybe you have not created another account before on it no problem so just come down to this settings icon that says business setting you click on it okay once you click on it it will take you straight to your business setting for that business manager now you scroll before the way these things happen is you come to data sources okay you click on data sources and you see pixels right but we are not going to pixels again Facebook has deported us to somewhere else. Instead of clicking pixels, don't click pixels so it will not work. Click 
data sets instead. The new place now is called data sets. You click on it. Once you click on it, it will open up the list of data sets you have that are now pixels, but now data sets that are previously called pixels, but now data sets. Okay. If you have pixels created there before, everything will be listed here. But if you don't, it will ask you to create a new one or add a new one. Of course, don't be like, hallelujah. So, but for you, since you may not be having any, uh, what's it called? You may not be having any pixels here. You just need to click on add. Then you give your pixel a name. It says create a new data set, right? You give it a name. I'm just going to call this 15 days income challenge. I'll click on create. <laughs> Mr. Abbey's up Nepal, I'll put the lights. All right, so. 15 days income challenge data set has been what created. You can see it boldly written here, right? 15 days income challenge. Now, it says it's what it's owned by Soul Swipe, which is the business, the business that owns the pixel. And this is your business ID that, that will be here, but that is not of any importance now. What you need to do now is come to this part that says open in event manager. I'm just going to click on it and it opens it up in a new tab. So let me unshare my screen and go and share there. Since this is what Google Meet wants us to be doing every now and then. Nguanu, so bad error. Let me go there. We can see my screen, right? All right, so it takes us here to the events manager. And once we get here to the events manager, what we need to do is what? We scroll down and come to this part that says, gather website events from browser activity. Okay, so you are gathering your website events, right? You are tracking website events. What people are doing on your website is what you want to track. So you come here and say set up meta pixel. You click on it and click on install code manually. So once you click on that, you'll be taken here. You just simply need to copy the code, right? Click on the button and it copies the code. Now we'll go back to our what's it called our our landing page um back end where we were editing the landing page before we go back there So we come back to the landing page um, interface where we're editing the landing page and changing the links, right, to our own links. We come back here, then we come to this part that says setting. If you have clicked on something before and you are seeing this, like I said before, just tap on it again. Tap on the, the, the interface again, right? And you see settings here. You click on settings. Then you scroll down till you get to this part that says what? tracking okay you get to this part that says tracking you click on this drop down it will bring you different options you can see none you can see view content you can see purchase you can see lead and you can see schedule right what we are concerned about here is tracking leads okay you select lead that is people that come to your website your landing page that counts as leads okay 
So it will begin to track how many leads that come to your landing page and down to your WhatsApp on a daily basis. So you select lead and click on this part that says edit header icon. It will open it up. Right here, I have um, pixels that was also imported from my own personal website. So it imports both my own pixel right here. All you need to do is select all and paste and, pa and paste your own there. Okay, you paste it, then you click on save. Then you come to this part on the top right corner right here and click on save changes. Now our pixel has been installed. Our pixel has been automatically installed. So let me go to that, that code part again so I show you. Now this is the pixel here. This is the pixel ID here. Okay, this is the pixel ID. 102918 so, so, so something. It ends with 2981. 2981. Take notes. It ends with 2981. We are going to verify if all the setups we have done here is correct or are correct. Sorry. Okay. 2981 is what ends the pixel. Okay. So I'm going to save it again and save changes. Now we need to go back to our events manager. Let me unshare again and go and share that one. Google me to thank you, Jesus. All right, so can we see my screen? So this is the part that we got the code from, right? Are we following? All right, so this is the part where we got the code from, right? We came here and we copied the code. So we are going to just come here and click on what continue then we turn on this on turn on automatic advanced matching you turn it on you scroll to the bottom and click on what continue now you click on go to what pixel overview now you see the pixel we created here right you can see it here 15 days income challenge you can see the ID here also, it hands with what? 2981. Okay? 2981. What we are going to do now is, it's saying what? Our pixel hasn't received any activity from here. Our pixel hasn't received any activity. Right? That's because we have not, you know, loaded the site. So, there is something called a Facebook pixel helper. It's a Chrome extension on Facebook. You can see it here, this icon I'm pointing to here on my list of extensions, right? You can see the icon that pops up, right? Oh, we can't see it. It's not allowing me to share that part. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, um, I don't know if you can see that part, okay? I don't think we can see it. But just come to your, to your Chrome browser, if you're using your PC for this, obviously, Right, let me unshare this and go to a new tab. Come to your Chrome browser on a new tab, click on Chrome Web Store. Chrome Web Store and search it. Once you search it, Open the first link you see here. Okay, then come to this search bar and write Facebook Pixel 
helper. The first icon here, the first um, pixel here, or the first Chrome extension rather, is what you click on, that metal pixel helper. My only saying was remove from Chrome, that's because I already installed it. Your own will be saying add to Chrome. So you just need to click on it and it gets added to Chrome and it's installed, right? I'm on this morning, Google Meet to Allah. <laughs> Google Meet is showing me shaky. If I try to, if I try to, um, if I try to share the O on my screen, it's going to be appearing in a funny way. Let me show you guys so it does not look as if I don't know what I'm doing. Let me try sharing the entire screen so you see what I'm talking about. Can we see what he's doing? <laughs> Can we see this? <laughs> so that is why, I, that's what, this is exactly what I was trying to avoid. That's why I was just shading one after the other and following them as they are directing. <laughs> Google me just use me play ball. So that is, that is why I prefer what's it called? Zoom, but Zoom said no, we're not using Zoom. So I'm just going to unshare my screen, I beg. It just keeps bringing out that effect. So like I was saying, install the what, the Meta Pixel, Pixel Helper, then you just need to pin it to your extensions. You pin it to your list of extensions and it's there, right? Now let's, I don't know if my extension would actually show. Wait, let me. Let me let me try something. All right, let me try something. My voice is breaking. Yeah, sorry, sir. All right, you guys can see this now, okay? So this, we have installed the pixel on the, the system.io um, interface, right? We have installed it. We have also created our pixel. And we have also, I've also showed you guys how to install what's it called, Meta Pixel Helper as an extension. Now this is the pixel helper here, this icon you are seeing here. You can see it says what Meta Pixel Helper. I don't know if you guys can see that notification that pop up this one that is here is meta pixel helper so now this is the landing page we created you can see it's the real grace jane at system.io slash what road to 1k why i gave it that extension as root to 1k is because i am you know promoting the 1k club with it so you can choose to give yours whatever you want to give but like i said before the email you used to create the account would be added from the beginning which is this one that says the real grace gene, and it must also contain dot system .io. then whatever extension you want to give, you give it at the end after the slash, or you can choose to leave it as a number that came with it. Well, let us reload this page now. Our pixel, our pixel ID ended with what? 291, 2981, right? 2981. So this is just going to load up, at least load up. Now, if I click on the Facebook Pixel Epa, are we seeing what popped out? Do we see what popped out? Do we get a, like a notification that, that popped out? Are we seeing anything? If you can't see, let me, let me know. I'm also sharing my, okay, I think I'm sharing and I'm not seeing it yet too. I think, um, Google Meet is not allowing that part to come out. All right, but it's showing me right here. It's showing me right here. I can only see it from here, and I don't know why. I think that is also Google Meet to Hala. So it's showing me right here that the pixel has been installed, and I'm seeing the pixel code right here, 
2981. Okay, so once you have installed all these things like the way I did it, install the pixel on the landing page setup, save it. Okay, you now reload the landing page and install your Meta Pixel Helper, the pixel extension checker. Then on your PC, you just need to click on the Meta Pixel icon. Maybe I may just do a short recording and drop on the group so you guys know what I'm talking about. You click on it, I need to show you the pixel right there. I'm seeing my own here. So now what I'm going to do is go back to um, this thing. Let me go back here. I'll go back to the Arts Manager. Sorry, the what's it called? The Events Manager. You can see it's saying what your pixel hasn't received any activity. Any activity hasn't been received. So I'm just going to try to what reload this. I'm going to reload this page. You can see it's saying your pixel hasn't well received any activity, right? Now let me reload this so we can see what will pop up from there and see if we did this correctly. You can see the interface changed, right? Okay, it's no longer saying it's not showing any activity. So now we need to come and test the event. Okay, we need to test the event. Now I'm going to copy that URL, the URL to the landing page. Okay, I'll copy it. Then I'll come here and paste it here. I'll click on go to a test event. After you've reloaded it, though, you click on go to test event, and it's going to pop up this um, this page. You click here, the second one that says confirm your website event are set up correctly. Click on it, you scroll down. Now this empty um, place that says this empty place that says enter website URL, you paste your the URL, your URL there, rather, you paste it there and click on what open website. You can't see this, but it would automatically open the website on a different tab, all right, and allow the website load up from there. Okay, once the website loads up from there, you can see here, this is what page view. You guys can see this popped up, right? Can we see this popped up? This was not showing page view here before. Can we see it? Right, you see page view was processed, which means that now anybody that visits this landing page, it will be counted as a page view. Okay, it will be counted as a page view, which means that someone viewed that page. But that is not what we want to track yet. Okay, it's not invalid, it's valid, but it's not what we want to track here. We want to track for when someone uh, uh, appears here as a lead, right, as a lead. You can see, take notes, nothing is appearing here except what page view. Okay, now let's set up the lead event. You come to settings here. I know this may be a bit technical. You may need to just go back and watch the replay of this particular session so you understand this thing. Okay, you won't get it at once, right? So you go to settings and scroll down till you get to this point that says open event setup tool. Open event setup tool. You click on it. The landing page URL, you copy it again, you paste it here and you click on open website. Now I'm going to share this one because there is something that is about to happen on this part.
Yeah, it's very technical, Joy. As most know, you'll get them. It's not hard. It's just one step at a time. Right. Once you you put your this in here, your, what's it called? You put your um, URL here, and you click on that button. Now you see it's, it's showing disconnect. Now don't click on disconnect to just open another tab. Let me just go to that tab and share that tab instead. Now it's going to open your landing page, but you can notice that something is appearing here, right? A box giving you more options is here. All you need to do is what? Track a new button. Track a new button. You just click on track new button. We are only tracking buttons on the landing page. If people land there, it will, it will count as a page view, but once they click that button, it will count as a lead. That's why we are tracking a button. So we scroll down. We scroll down and look for a button. This is one button here. All right. You don't need to do this on two of the buttons. Once you select one button, it automatically affects the rest of the buttons. OK, you scroll down, look for a button, and just tap on it. Now, another option we are here and says what? Select an event. You click on what? Select an event. And nothing concern you with the rest of the things there. Okay, just click on what's lead. Okay, it takes you here again and says what's value. Choose a value or uh, include value and currency. We don't want to do that. Just click on don't include value. Then you click on what submit. Then you click on what finish setup. Click on finish and skip okay now i will just reload that landing page from somewhere else you won't see it let me reload it you go back there reload it make sure you reload the landing page then click on any of the buttons there it should take you straight to whatsapp don't mind just click on any of the button the thing here is we want to make sure that it is tracking our buttons as what leads right i've clicked on the button um yeah now let me go back to the events manager tab let me share the events manager tab we know it was only showing what page view right now you can see my screen right okay now i'll go back to the overview this part i'll click on overview and let me reload that again let me reload the page and see Let me just wait for it to load. My network no good this night at all. Um, it's supposed to be showing, it's supposed to be showing leads.
Wait, let me let me click on test event again and see. It's supposed to be showing leads here. Wait, let me reload this again. Everything has been installed correctly. It's just that sometimes it takes it takes Facebook to propagate these things and and if you just come back and check after a few minutes, you see it there. Okay, let me I don't know why it's only showing the um, processed page view. It's also supposed to be showing leads. It's also supposed to be showing leads. Let me try to test the, the stuff again. Test events. Right, is there any part we are not getting correctly here? Are we confused? Because I know this thing has worked already, just for it to show up here. Are we confused in any way? Or are we still following? Does anybody have questions to ask? All right, I think somebody says we are following. OK. Following, but it's quite technical. Yeah, it's technical, though. It's technical. But I'm just doing this for those that are very confused. Uh, I will have to watch it again. All right, Samira. All right, you guys, we need to go over the replay. I got lost from the pixel HTML thingy. Ah, well, I know too much like this. <laughs> but this thing is not hard. This is not hard. Just need to go over it again so you understand. It's not hard at all. Wait. It's not hard at all. All right, you can see what I was talking about. If you wait for a few minutes, <laughs> the thing will pop up. You can see lead, right? Who can see lead now showing? Who can see lead showing? What I'm about to share with you will blow your mind. But you won't share anything with you. This young man's name is Abdul Salam. He's based in Nigeria in Ibadan prison. You can see it, right? All right, so that means that the whole setup we have done so far was absolutely correct. It may take a while for it to, you know, propagate in this aspect and show up, but if you just leave it for some seconds, it would appear, right? You can see here it's saying what receiving activity, receiving activity, which means that the whole activity and the whole thing we were able to track and set up was successful, okay? It was successful. All right, so that is how you set up your pixel and edit the whole part of the landing page that I created for us. Like I mentioned before, if my landing page is not good enough for you, you can edit something better if you have the skill to do that. No qualms, no wahala at all. All right, so 
for some for also for the, for some of us that are saying that they don't get it it's technical i totally understand we didn't get it at one go i'm currently i'm currently learning a new skill and it's the same way for me learning a new skill and it's it's doing me like magic in my face <laughs> but once you keep on practicing and practicing and showing up that is why it's important to Know, implement what you are learning and show up every single time. If you don't practice it, you won't learn it, you won't understand it. Once you continue to practice and practice and practice, it becomes a part of you. Yes, IoT Commerce, we, you are getting the landing page template. I'm going to add that um, after I in, embed this video to the landing uh, to the list of recordings, I bet make I not speak grammar way too much. English is hard. So, any questions? Any questions so far? <laughs> any questions so far? Any questions so far? I can see some people are still doing. <laughs> some people are still doing what's it called? Uh, tap link. Tap link is not that hard. Uh, Mr. Sonny, uh, yeah, Mr. Aruna. You can just type your questions on the chat and I would respond to it. Just read it out loud and respond. If I decide to unmute us now, or should I unmute you guys? You guys want to speak? My guys in the house, uh, I think, I don't know if Joshua is here or Matthew or Isosa. Do you guys want to have something to tonight's session? Well, I don't think I can see them. No, don't, don't leave me dark, but <laughs> don't worry. These guys will continue with us. I think on Wednesday, no, tomorrow is Wednesday. So we are not having a session tomorrow due to the 1K Club mentorship session with Sam Abad. Uh, that's why we're not having a session tomorrow. So tomorrow should give us more time to complete our ads manager setup for those that have not done so and also give us more time to complete our business manager and set up Pixel for those that have a laptop, okay? If you don't have a laptop, I have also thought of a way for you guys to run ads without needing a landing page. So either ways, you guys are not left out on this. The goal here is to make sure everyone is carried along, right? Everyone must be carried along we are not leaving anyone behind unless you fall under the category of pregnant donkeys <laughs> unless you fall under the category of pregnant donkeys that are that are heavy with pregnancy and don't want to follow us no wahala but as long as you are ready to work with me we are going to carry you along so uh, mr um, Aruna says, what happens if you get lost at the cost of setting up of the landing page? Uh, <laughs> where you want lost go? <laughs> this one is funny. What happens if you get lost? There's no way you're getting lost to now. You're just only changing the WhatsApp link right there and pasting your pixel, your pixel code. As simple as that. You have nothing else to do on the landing page other than that. So don't say any reasons why you get lost. Anyways, if you get lost, we'll find you on the group. You can find your way to the group, sir. You ask questions there. We'll be there to answer you. All right, sir. Was that clear? Exactly. Thank you, Zion. If you follow simple instructions, you will not get lost. Like somebody, <laughs> somebody on the ITW. I don't know, let me, maybe I should stop recording or I should stop streaming live. <laughs> Somebody on the ITW sent a message today on the ITW Academy, sent a message to them and was like, uh, he made 40 sales of his book on Amazon KDP. Now Amazon KDP is part of the business model on Wanky Club. He made 40 sales of the book and he's, he's not getting the money for it. Like, he's not getting paid for it. The earnings are not recorded. You see the zero as you take the. I immediately knew what was wrong. 
because I had I have an idea with Amazon KDP. I meet a lead. What is the essence of the pixel code? I, I've said this from the beginning, Mr. Is it Madam or Mr. Anyone shall now IoT commerce I shall see here. IoT commerce, I've said it from the beginning. The essence of the code, okay, you're a Mr. Fine. The essence of the code is to track the events. You can see as it is showing lead here, right? It's showing lead, it's showing page view. Okay, when someone comes on your page and don't do anything, they are counted as what well as page viewers. So they just came there to not you. They came there to look and go back. So once they click on that button that your link for WhatsApp is added to, they come down towards your WhatsApp, they are counted as a lead. Now let me let me let me see if I can share my screen from my phone. Let me allow allow screen sharing on the phone. Please, nobody should turn on their, what is it called? Though? Nobody should turn on their, their mics. I want to get it clear. Is the idea here to get leads to landing page? Wow. I want to get it clear. Is the idea here to get leads to the landing page? And in the form of the landing page, as they put their details, it send them to our WhatsApp. Yes, right. The whole idea is here yeah, is to get leads now. I be how will you sell the one key club or sell whatever you want to sell if you are not if you're not getting leads? So the idea is they come from your traffic source down to your landing page. Then from your landing page, they are counted as a lead once they click on that button. Okay, and they come down to your WhatsApp from there. It's as simple as that. Do you get that now, Mr. Uh, IoT um, Commerce? No, no need for the IoT. Now, Mr. Commerce, I will call you. All right, sir. So let me see if I can share my screen from here. All right, these are ads I have been running for uh, some time now. You can see this one says 400 websites leads, 408 what website leads. This one says what 837 website leads. This one says 937 website leads. And on this one, just call me or Sasu, no wala, sir. So this one I've spent like about a hundred and three thousand on this ad. This one I've spent ninety one k on this ad. This one I've spent fifty thousand on this ad set alone. This one I've spent sixty k, six k. Can you guys see my screen? Mira says she's not seeing my screen though. No. Who can see my screen? Okay. Um, it's on my phone. You can just zoom in, zoom in, just zoom in. So the this my my phone screen is visible. Just zoom in, so you can see what I'm saying. All right, I think some people can see it. So just zoom in, so you can see properly. You can zoom in. So when people come down to your landing page and they click the button, they are considered a lead, okay? That's why you are seeing 906 website leads, which means that I got 906 people to click my button and come down to my WhatsApp. So once they click a button, they are counted as what? One website leads, like that, like that, like that, till you get to how many numbers of people you can you can get to depending on your money okay and this one that says cost per website leads it says 114 naira 
her website leads, which means that I am paying just a hundred and fourteen naira to be able to get one person. I'm paying a hundred and fourteen naira to be able to get one person. This one that says what four hundred and eight leads, I'm paying one twenty four naira to be able to get one person. And sometimes this website leads can you know come down, can reduce. Okay, this is still like a bit on the ads eye side. I'm not a guru on running adverts. I know some people that get lower than you know the cost per leads I'm currently getting for this advert. Right, but I just feel like okay, since they, these guys are converting and uh, making sales for the 1k club, why not just leave it? Because per per commission on the 1k club, as at now, pending when uh, the price will increase for the 1k club as of now i think it's 4300 and something okay 350 or so so if one person if i'm getting one person for one or let's say at most 134 let's let me use this one as an example at most 134 per one person if i'm getting one person at 134 and i'm converting these guys so if one person buys means i guess what 4,000 plus in what in commission, and I'm getting that one person to buy at just 134 naira. I'm paying Facebook. Facebook, take 134 naira. Give me this one person. And if that person converts after watching the presentation and so on and so forth and buys, I get 4,300 and something as my commission. If you minus 4,350 minus 134 from one person, am I not in profit or I'm in loss? Am I in profit or am I in loss? Can we hear me? I'm in profit right there. I'm in profit. Now, some of these people may not buy instantly. Some of them may say, okay, my salary is coming back by the end of my, my salary is coming by the end of the month. Give me time, I will pay up. You'd get people that will pay instantly. When Ziba was when Ziba was 50K, I saw Ziba at 50K and somebody came in that day, paid that day, the person watched my, the presentation, he came in from my ad, the autoresponder ex responded to him at about 2 a.m. in the middle of the night. I was sleeping though. Baba came, watched the presentation, watched everything, got really, really interested on a Sunday. I went to church, came back and I decided to attend to him properly. And that was how I closed the sale, 50K Ziba as a then. Now, the good thing is, the way Ziba is currently structured right now, okay? If the people you sign up on the One Key Club, sign up and they pay, and they get interested in what Ziba VIP. Ziba VIP is currently what, 150, thousand naira and they decide to pay for ziba vip you still get a commission which means you get a commission for what uh one key club and you get a commission for what ziva vip so i get somebody at 134 naira and the person what of uh pays for one key club i get four thousand three fifty as commission for one key club purchase then the person sees Ziba VIP and is like, oh wow, I like what I'm seeing on Ziba VIP. I would like to what, upgrade towards Ziba VIP. And Ziba VIP is about $80. That should be close to 60,000 Naira. So in total, I'm getting about 65K in profit just from one person. And I got that person for 134 Naira. Am I in massive profit or I am in massive profit? Nobody is saying anything though. I'm in a massive profit. All right, so that is why I decided to actually leave uh, this ad to run. I hope you are getting what I'm trying to explain, Yesha. So for each person that comes to your website, to your landing page, and clicks on the what the button, and what 
they count as a website lead, right? And that's how they keep coming and coming and coming. Some of these ads started as high as um, as high as 300 Naira per lead until their golden began to understand the ads and they began to reduce, reduce in the cost per lead, okay? So don't worry, you guys will get to understand this whole thing as time progresses. Uh, I really don't understand your currency. So I mean like you're a Ghanaian. <laughs> So I mean, like a Ghanaian, leave Nigeria alone, <laughs> leave Nigerian currency because I don't know why uh, <laughs> I don't know why uh, um, Ghana cities is not appearing on on the ads manager. Anyway, you get you still deal with Nigerian currency like that. You the currency that you don't understand is what you come and deal with. Don't worry. So I hope you understand that. I was just trying to explain that part. So tomorrow, like I was saying there is no session tomorrow due to what's it called due to um due to the due to the mentorship session with sam abad tomorrow for the one k club members okay there is no session tomorrow so our session is going to continue all from thursday and on thursday mr justin odinaka our Abu Bogar, the top himself, is going to come on board and show us how to set up ads from top to bottom. Uh, what type of debit cards is accepted for payment on Facebook ads? Yeah, your normal bank account works. Your normal bank account cards work. If you are in Nigeria, I hope so. Yeah, you can use your normal account uh atm card to work i use that i currently use kuda to pay for my for my ads and kuda's virtual card so i use my kuda virtual card to pay for ads and i'm using pu most people use different options try to use the other options and they get it wrong don't worry you don't worry you get to understand that by thursday so please make sure that before thursday for the pregnant donkey okay zion use cheaper yeah I think I tried using Chipa and Chipa was giving me some kind of yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> vibes. I just had to leave them a bit and I went for a Kuda. I don't like stress, Vico. So, um, Thursday, Mr. Justin is going to show us how to set up ads. And I want us to please set up our accounts, business managers, ad accounts. If you have any issues, drop it on the group so we help you before Thursday evening. It's going to be live here with us. And I want um, I want us, for those that have laptops, if you can join the session on your phone and, okay, maybe after the whole session, Sha, you can go and watch the replay. Make sure you set up your hearts. Make sure you set up your hearts. Let your hearts go live. During this challenge, I want you guys to be running adverts. I want us to start seeing results during this challenge. Okay, I want us to start seeing results during this challenge. I want to start getting a lot of results from you guys during this challenge. All right, so we are setting up hacks on Thursday. Make sure later before Friday, your hacks should be live. Right, for those of us that are set up our business managers and other accounts and Pixel, I'll drop this video later so you watch it. Right, if you haven't, please and please try to set these things up before Thursday evening. So you can also follow through with the ad session and we don't leave you behind. Pregnant donkeys, please. I don't know, I forgot who gave that name. Sorry, I'm not the one calling you guys pregnant donkeys because somebody gave the name of the group and it has just talked to me like that. Apologies, please. So can a new Facebook account be used to run ads? Ah. Like an Insta, like in Instagram, you may need to have to open that account for, for say three months. Same thing is applicable, Mister uh, Commerce. Same thing is that applicable there. All right, same thing is applicable on Facebook. If you use a new Facebook account to run ads, uh, it might definitely you get restricted. Not it might you will you will get restricted. You drop instant breakfast. Facebook we summer you with instant breakfast right there, right there. Okay. Then if all goes well in your favor, you add 
um, your ID, right, and they review it, all goes well in your favor, you get asked that account back. But if it doesn't, it's gone. That's a good law. We are going to get hard to, where are we going to get hard to run? Ha. Ah. <laughs> Mira, 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 say, where are we going to get hard to run? Don't worry, Mira, <laughs> you understand the whole thing by, <laughs> by Thursday. You're not getting the hard to run anyway. The same way you are seeing this interface. I think you guys can see, see my screen, right? You guys can see, see my screen, Abby. You guys can see my screen. Can we see my can we see my screen now? Check it again. I just started sharing. All right, so. It's not hard. You're not looking for any way to go and run Hearts Mirror. This is the Hearts Manager interface. You can see this part that says what? Hearts Manager. So you need to create a business manager. Then in your business manager, you create an advertising account. Once you click on Hearts Manager, it takes you straight to your advertising account. All right, you can see it says welcome loading your ad accounts you get to understand all these things by thursday okay when mr justin himself will come on board and show us all right um if you have not created any ads before you'll be seeing something like this it says no results found you haven't created any ads yet okay all you just need to do is click on what the create ad button, but I want this to load up. Right, there are two buttons here. You see this button that says create, and this one that says create ad. I don't know why, I just want to give you guys a, a quick rundown on ad setup. Seriously, take whatever we are going to be teaching you here really, really serious. Honestly, take it really, 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 really serious. I know people that are running ads for people is their source of income. Especially affiliates. Affiliates are their major customers, their major clients. You know, you know, different affiliate platforms now run challenge. People want to win. Um, people want to win car trips. Trip, uh, sorry, people want to win car prizes, people want to win uh, trips to different countries, just like the way the Wanky Club did, uh, what's it called? The laptop challenge, right, that we won. Okay, different affiliate platforms are doing cars, they're doing what, um, what's it called? They're doing trips to different countries. If you can meet a target for their products, you can sell up to a target for their products. And these affiliates come to meet these ads managers, these media buyers. They pay them to run ads for them. There are people that are so, so skilled in the aspect of running ads. They can run ads for you. I know of a guy, he's fully booked for the whole year. Like these guys are booked in from the beginning of 2023 up until the end. He's no longer accepting people to run ads for them. Why? Because he has clients that have booked his services to the end of the year. And I'm talking about deals in millions. These people don't spend 2,000 euro per day on us, like you people are planning to do here, or some of, some of you here. Some of you that may not have enough money to run hats. No offense, though. These guys spend millions. I know people that do 1.5 million every month just to run adverts. And they pay is what this ad uh managers or business or media buyers they pay them to run ads so i'm saying if you can master the skill of running ads you can choose to brand yourself and create a business from there and you run ads for people get them results which takes what skill which takes what implementing a lot of focus and dedication with it so 
Just make sure you put all your all into these things you are doing here, all right? Put all your all. These things can literally give you the life <laughs> you you don't know like that you like, like you could enjoy. A really nice life. I know people that are doing these things and they don't do anything. They just set up ads for people, monitor the ads, and that's all. They're getting paid in thousands and in millions. It's like I was I was saying, this is the ads manager. You just come here and click on create. Okay, then this will pop up. There are different objectives here you get to learn from tomorrow. So sorry, from Thursday and how to further run the ads. Right, but what we'll be doing mostly is what leads generation we are going to be doing lead generation right that is what we are going to be doing on some thursday so for me that was asking where do we get hearts from to run <laughs> this is where you run the hearts right so i believe there are no questions left to be answered right because i need to go back to my own learning so you guys can also go back to your own learning because a lot is left to be done any questions or we round it up here That's all right. Okay. Lord, we thank you for tonight. We bless your name for a successful session. We give you all the glory. There is none that can be compared to you in all the earth. We bless your name, mighty Redeemer. We give you all the glory, Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, the one of Israel. From the bottom and the depths of our hearts, with a grateful heart, we have come to see a very big thank you for going forward it's going to be results upon results added with speed in the name of jesus receive all the honor and adoration in jesus mighty name hallelujah amen 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 i'm going to stop screaming all right that's it for tonight's session thank you guys